Welcome to this Unity tutorial. I'm Prefix Wiz, and continuing our series of Unity Basics, today I'll be giving you an overview of the Unity Editor. Double digit okay, today we are giving you an overview of the Unity Editor. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And don't worry if your Unity Editor doesn't look like mine at the moment. I just decided to put a few game objects in the scene so that we can use them later during our overview. Okay, so in the top left, you have a Unity icon followed by numbers and letters. 2017.1.1 1F1 happens to be our current Unity version. And we have Untitled. And Untitled is actually our scene name, which is right here, Untitled. And then next to it is tutorial, and that's actually our project. The entire project's name is tutorial. And my current build setup is for the PC, Mac, and Linux. Okay, and below that you have several menus. You have file, edit, assets, game object, components, window, help. And in future tutorials, we'll go ahead and go down each one of these menus and give you a description of each one of these items. Over there to the top right, of course, you have your window operations you have your close you have your enlarge and your minimize and if you go down here to the left below file edit and assets below those menus you have what we call a grab tool and what this tool allows you to do is if you go over here to your scene and you'll see this little hand here you're actually able to left click and hold and you can drag your camera around the scene view still keeping your orientation next to that we have the move tool and now the move tool allows you to grab an individual object and actually move it on the X axis the Y axis and the Z axis then we have the rotate tool which allows you to rotate the object so let's say we rotate it to the left to the right front back and side to side and then we have the scale tool in which you can grab the middle and scale all sides evenly or you can grab each individual handle and scale just the X axis, the Z axis, and the Y axis. And this is the Rect tool. And what the Rect tool allows you to do is grab a 2D object and transform it. Now you can actually do this with 3D objects, but it only works in a 2D axis. So you don't have to worry about the Z. You can actually manipulate just the corners and size it how you need. You can grab the edges here and the edges here. You can grab any one of these points and resize it. You can click in the middle here and move it. Okay. You have your pivot tool. Now your pivot tool is specific to the type of object you're moving. We have a UI element and we also have the rec tool selected. And you can see here that there's a pivot point and that's what this is. So if we were to leave that dead center and we were to go to our rotation tool, we could actually rotate this based on its pivot location because that's what we have selected here. But let's say we wanted to move that pivot tool to the bottom left. Now it's gonna pivot around this point. So let's go ahead and grab this and you see it now pivots around the pivot point. If you go to pivot, it's gonna to go to where that pivot point is. And if you go to center, it's going to go to the center of the object. And then we have global and local. Local refers to the individual game objects local transform. If you were to slightly rotate this on the Y axis and then you go into the move tool, you will see that the Z axis is pointing slightly off to the left if we were facing forward. Now, if we were in global, and this is your global view here, global Z is this way. So even if your local rotation is facing a different direction, you can still move on the Z axis for global, switching back to local, local. And then we move over to the middle here and you have a play, pause and play iteration button. And this is for your game view. So in your tabs here, you have the scene and you have the game. In the scene view, this is where you manipulate all of your objects within the game and in the game view, this is what your end user is seeing when you finish your product. Then you have your 2D view. Right now in 3D view, you can view anywhere. Right, left, up, down, and behind you. So now you're in 2D view. 
And of course you have your scene lighting, you have a volume control, and you have your toggle for your skybox, fog, and lens flare effects. Okay, and to the right of that you have your gizmos. The gizmo helps you keep track of objects in the scene. And now we'll go to the windows themselves. You have the hierarchy, and the hierarchy is anything that you use in the scene. This is where you would place these UI components, the camera, the directional light, and shown here, the camera, directional light, and UI components. And over here you have the, the game view. Under the game tab you have displays. You can have several different displays based on how many cameras you have in your scene. And for right now we have one. And we can go into the free aspect. This is the aspect ratio that your game view will be in. And then you have maximize on play. If you have maximize on play toggled, if you hit play, it will take this game view and maximize it to your screen. All right. And then you have mute audio. You have game stats. And this will give you a lot of information related to your game's performance. In the inspector, any game object in the scene will have its transform and any component attached to it visible in the inspector. You have your collab tab. This is for collaboration with a team of individuals that are at remote locations. You have the cloud services. You have your account. You have layers. And you have your default Unity editor layout. And moving down to the project view, every single asset that you have that is in this project is in your project view window. And then of course your console. In your console is going to be any error or warning output by Unity Game Engine or scripting. And then you have your search function. Thanks for watching. I hope this got you familiar with Unity. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post those down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe.